to make something look transparent is about setting the opacity of the layer and the layer blend mode. For water, there is also water surface that make the drop shadow to the floor and the light reflection. You can easily add the light reflection by using the soft airbrush. Let's start with the water surface. Clear the new canvas. Draw a random wave on the canvas. Then draw some curve where the line intersect. Make selection to the area you want to make the pattern and clear the outside. Cut through the pattern, move it to the opposite side and connect the line. For more detail about seamless pattern, Check my tutorial in the video description. Apply blur filter and make the blur version of pattern to use as layer effect in the future. You can also download this pattern I made. The link is in the video description. Create new layer and draw the water level to the character. Use lasso tool to clear selection under the waterline, select the collector folder, press Ctrl X to cut it, then Ctrl V to pass it. Move the folder down. Create new layer between two folders and apply the gradient. Adjust layer opacity. Put the material above the layer and set the mode to overlay. Then add also the blur version of the pattern and set the mode to add grow. And also adjust the opacity. To adjust the position, select both layer and press Ctrl T to make transform. This will allow you to move both layer together. For the shadow effect, copy the blur layer and place under the water layer. Move layer a bit down and set layer effect color to dark color. Set the layer blend mode to linear burn. And it's done. For the animation, the water will move on the perspective line. The basic wave will start small and reach a big wave at a point, and the wave will be slower when it's bigger. Create new canvas with animation preset and frame rate 24. Set the paper color and copy the character to the canvas. Set the perspective ruler to the perspective of character. Select the ruler with object tool and disable the snap. Then prepare the layer like we did in previous part. Create new layer and draw the waveform with texture pen. Make two of them, then convert the layer into image material layer. Select the object with object 2 free transform mode. Move one corner a bit. This will trigger the free transform mode in layer keyframe. Enable the layer keyframe and adjust the object at frame 1. Move to the last frame and adjust the wave in another corner. And now we get the moving wave. 
create new keyframe at the middle of timeline. Then chip it a bit front. This will make the wave move faster at the beginning and slower in the end. Do the same with another wave and adjust the opacity. The position of opacity can also edit on the timeline. I use two layers to create the movement on the wave animation. Select the Perspective Ruler with Object Tool and Enable Snap. Then draw a rectangle for the start point and the end point of the movement. Bring the pattern to the canvas. Then adjust the edge to the rectangle as start point with Object Tool. Select Frame 1. Enable layer keyframe and create a keyframe there. Select the last frame and adjust image material to another rectangle. This creates smooth movement of the water surface to the perspective line. Add backward movement to the wave by adding new keyframe near to the last keyframe. Then move the keyframe, switching the position with the last keyframe. Right click on last keyframe and add more frame to the back. Shift the keyframe backward and it's done. The layer mask concept is the area of a transparent object that creates the unseen area outside the layer shape called mask area. It can be moved separately from the layer objects. I will use this to create a separate movement of the water surface. You have to disable the layer keyframe before adding the layer mask. Make selection on one side of the wave. Copy the water layer, right click on one layer, layer mask, and mask outside selection. The water surface will be shown only inside the mask shape. When you enable the layer keyframe again, you will also see the timeline of the mask. To create the mask for another side, right click on the mask and selection from layer. Then in another layer, select Mark Selection. Now we can have two sides of the wave moving separately. For more easy to work, show Mask Area. To adjust the mask, click on the mask icon to active the mask. Resize the mask to 300%. You can also adjust the keyframe position of the mask. Adjust the mask position to the wave. Now we have two layers of water surface. I give it the name for less confusion. And we have two directions of water movement, forward and backward. If we hide the top edge, that will be bank area before the bottom edge reach another corner of the canvas. The loop concept is about the frame next to the last frame is the first frame. 
so we can simply move the first frame of the backward movement to the top edge. Because both layer is the same material, you can just right click on the keyframe and copy, then pass it to another layer. And adjust the timeline area to the loop. Add the blur material to the canvas. Copy the layer with the mask. Make sure you disable the layer keyframe before moving the mask. And you can simply drag the mask to the blur layer. And then delete the layer we copy. Move the material corner with object tool to activate the free transform mode in layer keyframe. Then we can copy the entire keyframe of water layer and place it to blur layer. The blur layer will be perfectly overlap the water layer. Set the layer mode to grow and adjust the opacity to the timeline. For drop shadow, copy all blur layers and one of the wave layer. Move them under water layer and shift it a bit down for each keyframe. Make it look darker by changing the layer color and the blend mode. Then adjust the opacity to match the light. Create new animation folder. And draw the white line at the keyframe. Then repeat the keyframe for water movement. Also apply some water splash with the same method. Apply the light with glow layer, and here is the result. I hope this tutorial gives you some idea of working with animation. Please subscribe my channel for more tutorials in the future. Good luck with animation!